lot of people, uh, they're not, they buy a new car every two years. So, when they buy this uh, new used car, they don't know if the timing belt's been done. It's a tricky thing because oftentimes, rather than pay the expense of changing the timing belt, which is an expensive mileage interval maintenance procedure, people will just sell it or they'll trade it in or whatever. So, a lot of times when you buy a used car, especially it's over 60,000, over 90,000 miles, you buy it under the assumption that it's not been done or sometimes people say oh I had the timing belt done but you don't know when or you don't know if it's due so here's how you check it out so what I have here is I've got a 2006 Subaru Legacy single overhead cam 2.5 liter and you see I've written start here and I put a little yellow mark on it I've also taken an Ektron remote starter which I love and I've hooked it and they're cheap I've hooked it up to the starter, once to the positive that goes straight to the positive battery cable and then another terminal underneath that goes to the signal. You can see that I've got the signal um, undone under there and it's just a little boot there. So with this all hooked up and ready to go, I've got the vehicle in neutral, it's supported and secure. So we're going to inch test this. So I'm going to get the camera right down in there and every time I hit this trigger, it advances just a little bit. So I can get right down in there and I can look at the teeth. I'm looking down here at the teeth on the underside and I'm looking at the top side as well. I want to see the print on it to see if it's a fresh print because the idler pulleys and the tensioner pulley wear the print off. So if this has been done uh, like the seller says it's been done, we should be able to clearly read this. So we'll inch test it and I'm looking at the condition of the teeth. Let me zoom in there so you can see. And these teeth actually look pretty good, but it's not always easy to tell by just looking at it. A bad belt looks really glossy on the back side, and you see stripes of gloss on this. Uh, but you can still see a little bit of the, the casting from the rubber cast from being new. So I just go through, and I'm looking for print. I'm looking for also white marks, because these have white marks on an aftermarket belt. See, there's a white mark right there. You can see it. Okay, moving right along. We got a little flare where that white mark is, but the nice thing about this trigger technique is that you can just really scroll it around slowly. So we do have a white mark. It has been replaced. It's got 180,000 miles, so it would have been broken if it wasn't already. A lot of them will fail between 90,000 and 120,000 miles. So we see a barcode mark there. Um, I don't see any name brand stuff. I see some other white markings coming up. That was the crankshaft mark, the little spotted mark. There's another white mark coming up. It's in the flare now, you saw that go by. And back to start. So it has been changed, but it's been quite a while since it's been changed. Typically on an aftermarket belt, like a Gates belt or a Goodyear Gator back, you'll find that the print goes away after about 70,000 miles or so, 60,000, 70,000 miles. You can't really even see it anymore. So I'd say this is somewhere around 50. So it's not just been changed. It probably was changed about 50,000 miles ago when this is at about 130,000 uh, 120,000 miles. So has the belt been done? Yes. Has it been done recently? No. No it hasn't, but the belt looks like it's in okay condition.